21 minutes for the top of the hour. Last week's high flood waters in Warren, Michigan have receded, but the recovery for some residents is just beginning. Governor Rick Schneider visited the 2400 block of Eureka Street, where Elizabeth Scaris is picking up the pieces and protecting what belongings she has left from potential looters. And Elizabeth joins us on the phone now from uh, her home there. And we are so happy that you're out of the hospital because uh, you've been sick for a few days. Tell me how that happened and how it's been for you this past week. Hi there. I'm happy to be home too. Um, I was out there in that water, which is filled with sewage. And that also, um, it just, I had a cut on my leg and it started burning, but I didn't have time to go to the you know, put anything on it, cover it up, and then all of a sudden I looked at my leg, it was all swollen up. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And so I had to go to the hospital. And we're, again, we're glad that you're home now. And we also hear that your neighbor had been living in a tent. What do folks on the street uh, there know right now about where they're going to be able to go next? Yes, I think she's um, at a hotel because her tent's gone now, so she's in a hotel. I'm not sure where she is next, but, yeah, her whole house is gone and cause she didn't have a basement, so it went right through her house. And Elizabeth, I understand that, that you're a singer with a band and that a lot of your equipment was damaged in the flood. Obviously, that's going to be uh, affecting your life going forward. What are your plans now as you try to pick up the pieces? Yeah, I'm trying to. It's like I don't know where to begin. Mm. It's just been a nightmare and um, still in this house. It smells like mold. I hope that you know, it doesn't start affecting my breathing, but um, hopefully we'll get some help here soon. All right. And, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, just pick up the pieces. What, what can you do? Absolutely. And Elizabeth Scaris, we appreciate you coming on with us this morning, sharing your story. It's a story that we'll continue to follow because, as we often know, that after floodwaters recede, it's a whole nother level of disaster. So we'll be thinking of you and the residents in Warren, Michigan. All right, 41 minutes past the hour. It's time now for a look at sports. And